we're not meant to be happy all the time. Indeed, if we were happy all the time, <laughs> we'd never be happy. Do you know what I mean? If everything had the same quality, then there'd be no other quality. One of my favourite short stories is from a book named Some 40 Tales from the Afterlives by David Eagleman. Um, it's called Some. Here it goes. In the afterlife, you relive all your experiences, but this time with the events reshuffled into a new order. All the moments that share a quality are grouped together. You spend two months driving the street in front of your house, seven months having sex. You sleep for 30 years without opening your eyes. For five months straight, you flip through magazines while sitting on the toilet. You take all your pain at once, all 27 intense hours of it. Bones break, cars crash, skin is cut, babies are born. Once you make it through, it's agony free for the rest of your afterlife. But that doesn't mean it's always pleasant. You spend six days clipping your nails, 15 months looking for lost items, 18 months waiting in line, two years of boredom, staring out of bus windows, sitting in an airport terminal, one year reading books, your eyes hurt and you itch because you can't take a shower until it's your time to take your marathon 200 day shower. Two weeks wondering what happens when you die, one minute realizing your body is failing. Seven, 77 hours of confusion. One hour realizing you've forgotten someone's name. Three weeks realizing you are wrong. Two days lying. Six weeks waiting for a green light. Seven hours vomiting. 14 minutes experiencing pure joy. Three months doing laundry. After years wait, sorry, 15 years writing your signature, two days tying shoelaces, 67 days of heartbreak, five weeks driving lost, three days calculating restaurant tips, 51 days deciding what to wear, nine days pretending you know what is being talked about, two weeks counting money, 18 days staring into a refrigerator. 34 days longing, six months watching commercials, four weeks sitting in thought, wondering if there is something better you could be doing with your time, three years swallowing food, five days work, working buttons and zippers, four minutes wondering what your life would be like if you reshuffled the order of events. <laughs> in this part of the afterlife, you imagine something analogous and sorry, analogous to your earthly life and the thought is blissful a life where episodes are split into tiny swallowable pieces where moments do not endure where one experience of joy so where one experiences the joy of jumping from one event to the next like a child hopping from spot to spot on the burning sand. Now what I really like about this story, one thing that really stuck out to me was um, 14 minutes experiencing pure joy. Hmm. It's a bit mad because a lot of people live for joy, live for happiness. And it, I believe there are doctrines or, or schools of thought that suggest the most important thing in life is to be happy. Um, I think this is flawed. And actually, so this, this is something that kind of, I think, leans towards your podcast because I think these notions contribute very, um, very negatively to our mental health. Hmm. We're not meant to be happy all the time. Indeed, if we were happy all the time, <laughs> we'd never be happy. Do you know what I mean? If everything had the same quality, then there'd be no other quality. Um, so yeah, that really stuck out to me. Um, the point of life to be happy, or is the point of life to to love God, to know God, to serve God? Nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Just learning as we go, um, because obviously not all of us had our, our fathers at a younger age. Now, women, 
if you ask him this question and what comes 